Hi, yes. Paul Sack, it's Good News Planet. I'm here with Sherry Aronson. Hi, Sherry, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good because when I heard you're coming into town, I ran over here as quickly as I could. And I wanted to make sure we got a chance to speak. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy to be here. So the last time I saw Sherry was at the uh, Times Square event, actually, right. uh, for her Doing Good outreach and uh, and so many other things. It was Good Deeds Day, I think, two years ago. Yes, Good Deeds, and, and it continues on. Yes. And you're, uh, doing very well with it worldwide yes. and uh, Sherry is a, uh, a very successful businesswoman and uh, she's ranked number the Forbes is I think uh, you know Stephen Forbes now uh, <laughs> because uh, you're really uh, um, renowned uh, I think second in the world for greenest woman I don't know Greenest billionaire, they call it. <laughs> <Greenest Yes. laughs> There's one, 64th, uh, I guess, one of the most successful women in the world. And uh, you're from Israel, I believe, right? Yes. And uh, you're doing a lot of good worldwide environmentally uh, with your with your company, the Aronson Group, and uh, um, financially, and uh, and so many other areas. You have a foundation, and you have family, and uh, you've interviewed your son. So, yes. so I'm very happy. But today, we're going to talk a little bit about this. So. Yes. Uh, tell us about this because this is uh, doing good and good news. Uh, uh, this is uh, in Yiddish they call it a shit up. So uh, <laughs> it's all good. So tell us about this. Well, this is my latest book. It's actually the fourth book I've written. It's called The Doing Good Model Activate Your Goodness in Business. And um, the book really reflects the work that we're doing at the Arison Group. It's uh, uh, The Doing Good Model is a model that's value based. It's how you can implement values across the board in business and in philanthropy. And because we're so diverse with our scope of uh, businesses, we're in finance, real estate, infrastructure, water, renewable energy, and salt, alongside with the philanthropic endeavors, uh, we really can show uh, practical tools in every field how to implement values. Uh -huh. And so, you know, you know, business is business. You know, people sometimes think of business as not being such a... Uh, light uh, a way of life. Uh, where does your, uh, you know, I would say respectfulness come from and how did you bring that into the world of business? Well, um, I've always cared about the future of uh, humanity and the planet. I think it's something that uh, I was born with. I've always cared from a very young age. Um, and over time, I realized that each one of us, if we take responsibility for our collective future, we can make a positive change in the world. And I've tried to do this in everything that I do. Um, the Doing Good model shows how you can take very elated values, values like purity, values like financial freedom, how you can grow and prosper, uh, values like language and communication, how we talk to one another, um, vitality, fulfillment, really uh, unusual values for business, and how you can implement these values in the workplace, um, and how it really makes a difference to people, to our employees, to our customers, and it really also benefits the bottom line. So does it, uh, does it start at the top of the, of the company? Is it the uh, visionary of a CEO or a chairman of the board saying, let's think in this manner? Well, I think it always takes a leader to, to create change. Um, but when you're talking about values, it's not something that you can tell people, okay, I want you to be value-based. Uh, you need to explain, you need to educate, engage people, uh, enroll them, make them passionate about it. And we've done this by, um, on the one hand, getting the backing of all the chairmen and CEOs of the different companies and organizations, but on the other hand, by engaging uh, middle management, employees, uh, to come together around a table and be creative and find ways to be able to have practical tools for implementation. So the first uh, uh, one of these books, uh, uh, did you write that sort of like maybe as a handbook for your own company? Um, well, it's funny because I, I've been talking about it the last few days that it has turned into sort of a handbook. Um, but really in um, the book, there's um, there's different examples from our companies, um, the Arison Group companies and the Arison Group philanthropic organizations, but there's also many examples from other fields, from other companies, from people who worked within our group and went onward to other companies in other fields and how they continued this. Um, there's even examples from TV, from, from media, uh, from different things that I have come across where I saw that were value-based. 
Ah, okay, I see Ariana Huffington. Actually, I gave her my business card uh, on, on one at the Matrix Affair, one of the women's leadership events, and I said, you should have a good news section uh, on there. And the good news is she has a good news section. And, um, and her good news section is also a, a collaboration between GoodNet, uh, which is a social right. uh, media network that, that we created within our group, and we partner uh, with Huffington in order to, to do this. So I think if we come together, you know, like Good News and, and ourselves and other people that are out there, individuals, organizations um, that are doing good work and we collaborate together, um, it can't be ignored anymore. That's good. Uh, we like that. That's, uh, yeah. that's why I ran over here. So uh, uh, because the fact of the matter is uh, uh, it's nicer to be nice. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> it's nicer. It's more positive. And I think we can create positive change that way. Plus, you know, it's actually healthier to be nice, too, as well. Uh, I, we did the, the Brain Series many years ago with uh, public television. And uh, literally, if, if you're upset and you're stressed out, the adrenaline flows into your heart. And uh, that's not a good news story. Right. And, and, you know, some of the values within the doing good model uh, is inner peace and being. And it, and it involves well-being for the individual and for you know, communities at large. So inner peace in the corporate world. Uh, that's a nice uh, thought. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, if each individual uh, is responsible for their own inner peace and that resonates outward, you can have a collective of inner peace and uh, it, it, it reflects the whole environment. Uh -huh. So how do you suggest for people to use the book, The Doing Good Model? I know there's 13, I believe, uh, uh, ways to go here or to consider and think about. Is it good to write them on the, on the wall and then sit down and have a conversation with, the, with the, some senior staff and then them to bring it down to uh, other management people? Uh, well, first of all, you can go to the doinggoodmodel.com and uh, get more information and also buy the book. Um, but what we've done is created forums. Uh, we have representatives from each one of the companies and each one of the organizations. So there's representatives from the bank, from the infrastructure company, the salt company, the water company. They come together and sit down and discuss and they're creative and, and they bring forth ideas for implementation. I don't think uh, values is a plaque on the wall. I think it's something that, you know, if you really want to create a change within an organization, it has to be practical, it has to be measured. Uh, Good Deeds Day, for instance, it's measurable. We see that we started with the idea of going out once a year to do a good deed. Today there's 61 countries involved. Uh, we had three million hours of volunteering. That's something that's measurable. Results oriented. Exactly. <laughs> well, the, you know, hey, someone said the talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, when you see actionable uh, situations, then you actually know it's done. Well, you know, especially in the business world, you, you need to see the bottom line. And, you know, a lot of the times when I talked about values, uh, people said, okay, but you can't make money. And we've proven that it's quite the opposite. Uh, you can do business, good business, be value-based, and still make a profit. Uh -huh. You know, over the years, there has been some nice books that have been out there about doing good, and uh, Megatrends originally uh, started, and some money after that came out with, you know, doing good is good for business, and I can't remember name it the second uh, but I interviewed her as well um, the, the, the do good movement I, I think has, has grown over the we've been doing our broadcast good news broadcast for 17 years wow. and over all those years oh, you know now I'm really stressed because there's too much to do <laughs> <laughs> well that's wonderful I hope there's more and more to do I think there's more and more people I think there was always good doers out there always people that are kind and caring and a lot of, especially in philanthropy, a lot of organizations that are doing amazing work. But what's nice is that we're all coming together and then, you know, that collaboration is, is very powerful. I agree. And uh, actually we're here at, the, at, at a great company, Ruderfin, uh, who has given us hundreds of interviews over, over the years because they're a socially responsible corporation to begin with. So you now we're in a, you know, public relations communications company that uh, uh, literally um, has had to help me change from, I wanted to stop the world at one point. And I interviewed uh, Maurice Strong, who was a, an author for, uh, for Ruder Finn. And uh, he suggested me to just try to pause it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ruder Finn has had a big bearing on us and our, and our good news and uh, even co-founder, uh, uh, Bob Bagger. So, um, you know, I think the, the, the good, uh, positive energy of, uh, of a corporation flows throughout the whole, the whole uh, operation uh, and, and thusly success entails. 
Well, I, I believe that corporations have a huge impact, you know, impact uh, within their employees, within their uh, customers, their clients, uh, within the community that, that they work in. Uh, if you're a global com company like the Arison Group, then you have impact all over the world. And so if you put your focus on doing good and making a difference, that's what uh, the outcome is. How about, you know, I, I see more and more that uh, and potential employees are, are looking for uh, companies that have, you know, green in their mind and have socially responsible in their mission. Um, and literally, I see corporate executive CEOs, because I get to, to meet those kinds of people, that have left companies where they didn't feel the self-esteem was, you know, um, proper. Uh, there wasn't money. It's not money that, in many cases, that leads a CEO to stay with somebody. It's, you know, appreciation, and I think that all falls into this. I think it's purpose. I think people are looking for purpose and meaning in their life. And uh, I've always looked for uh, management teams and employees that care beyond the profits. And those are the kind of people that I want working for me. And the people within my organizations are people who, who care beyond the bottom line. Well, you're a supreme woman business leader. And uh, you know, this is a big honor. I'm going to ask you two last questions. I know you have a very busy day because a lot of media wants to speak with you. And that's great. That's yeah. great. I hope billions of media want to yeah, speak with you. And uh, we continue to love to be uh, uh, collaborative with you and, and the good things that you do. So, uh, two last questions. One is, uh, what's good news for you? Um, I think it's putting things in a positive light. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, you know, people look at reality and, and unfortunately see a lot of bad things. And I think if we put the light on all the good that's being done in the world, um, it gives everyone um, hope, it gives everyone a, a good feeling, and uh, it creates, I mean, we really create um, what we talk about, and, uh, and so we should put things uh, in a positive light. Be the change you want to make, I think. Exactly, exactly, God to be the change you want to see in the world, there it is. and All right. then that's important. And to go along with that, uh, and perfectly uh, with, uh, with Gandhi, and you're, you're speaking his words in your own words, of course, um, you know, uh, We've done actually some shows with nonviolence and uh, Gandhi's nonviolent uh, mm -hmm. approach to uh, to uh, to life. Um, so, and we're very involved with. We're throwing a party September 21st. We need everybody there uh, for a peace day party to recognize the International Day of Peace by the United Nations, where 193 countries have uh, already agreed. So, uh, I've asked many people, "What's peace for them?" So, Sherry, what's uh, what's peace for you? Uh, for me, peace begins within oneself. Um, and I think that when each individual reaches their own individual peace, uh, that's how we can reach world peace. It's not out there, it's in here. Beautiful. Okay, Sherry Aronson, thank you so much for sharing good news. Thank Thanks you. For, for seeing me here in your short New York uh, trip <laughs> and uh, uh, media bonanza <laughs> in <laughs> a good way. Much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.